Pretty much the only thing you can do in this game is camp in the corner. Or else you will die. Guaranteed. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, a double, a double. Okay, baby. Okay, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Okay, go. Why? Why is this happening? Why? 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 I'm not this good. I haven't played in months. guys my name is trencher and welcome to call of duty modern warfare remastered now a lot of people know about this game a lot of people have played this game and a lot of people have a different have different opinions about this game and most of them are good most of them are bad um but to be honest in my opinion this game was actually pretty good whenever it was in its prime and i'm sorry for the echo that you guys are hearing my, you know, I don't have padding or anything, which I should, I should be buying this stuff. And I plan on doing it. I just don't know when. Because there's a lot of stuff I need to do, um, you know, outside of setup-wise. You know, so hopefully I can be getting stuff like that soon and actually make a more suitable recording setup. Because I recently, like sometime last month, uh, kind of rearranged my setup. But I kind of want to have something that is sort of soundproof or echo proof. Whatever the heck you want to call it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to be playing some Modern Warfare Remastered and just see how this game does one year later. Now, if you guys didn't know, this game was actually bundled with the Infinite Warfare Deluxe Edition. Um... And to be honest, more people probably played this game than Infinite Warfare itself. And I know Infinite Warfare had a bunch of, you know, had a lot of digital sales and a whole bunch of sales in general. But that's mainly because people were buying the Deluxe Edition, in my opinion. They were buying the Deluxe, edi uh, Deluxe Edition uh, just to play Modern Warfare Remastered. And they really didn't give a crap about Infinite Warfare. But, um, so yeah, today I'm going to be playing this, seeing how it stands up one year later, and see if there's a good amount of people still playing this game now. So, I will see you guys whenever I get into a match. Okay, so, one thing that I really liked about this game was the gameplay. It was boots on ground, obviously, and it just felt good, you know? Like, it felt like an old classic Call of Duty game, and to be honest, in my opinion, this game is... Whoa, okay. That shake. This game is probably better than Call of Duty World War II, in my opinion. Yeah, but I see you, I see you, I see you. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, the gameplay felt fluid, it, and to be honest, the movement feels a little bit better than Call of Duty World War II. And I'm not hating on World War II, um, I'm just not into it this year. I was in it, I was into it whenever the beta came out, and I was into it whenever the game first came out. But, you know, I'm just not into it right now. So that's why you guys haven't been seeing World War II gameplay on the channel. And to be honest, I feel like that's better. I feel like, oh, okay, didn't think I was going to get that kill. What? Okay. And another thing that I kind of liked about this game is that they did supply drops right. Infinite Warfare didn't, however. And basically what I mean by this game did supply drops better, ooh, a Desert Eagle. Um, basically what I mean by this game did supply drops better was, um, basically... It wasn't the traditional, it wasn't the traditional supply drop system, uh, where you would, you know, buy COD points and, you know, buy, or buy COD points and then spend them on, 
the supply drops. Wow. Well, yeah. But, you know, it's not like the classic supply drop system we know of where, you know, you buy COD points or you, you know, earn these points or these credits, I guess you could say, and then, you know, spend them on supply drops that allow you to get things like weapons and stuff out of them. And to be honest, I like the way this game did that because sure you could buy COD points and still earn credits to get these supply drops, but the supply drops aren't really the problem. It's more of the things that are in the supply drops that people were worried about. People were worried about, you know, weapons and stuff being in supply drops. And basically, even still, a lot of people were worried about supply drops being in the game at all because originally, the original Call of Duty 4 didn't have supply drops. And to be honest, I kind of agree with people saying supply drops shouldn't have been in this game. But they were put into the game anyways, and there's not much we could really do about that. Wow, I'm just getting dominated. Like, 4-7. Wow. Okay. But basically, whenever they did bring DLC weapons into the game, which I'm actually... I wasn't really surprised that they did. A lot of people expected it to happen. But they were kind of hoping that they were going to put some pretty good weapons in the game, which they did. And I have... Okay, dude, you mind? Thank you. And I don't think I've ever earned a DLC weapon in this game, as long as this game has been around. Wow, okay. Um, but yeah, I've never gotten a DLC weapon in this game for as long as this game has been around. But I know that some of them are good. I've played with some of them from picking them up in just matches that I've played. And, you know, the gun... Oh. I'm gonna come over here. Oh. Yeah, I haven't played COD in a while. But the way they did the weapons was pretty good. And I'm actually glad that, you know... Since they put the the weapons in the game, that they did it the right way. And so, I still don't know why people are mad about that. I mean, yeah, so what? They put supply drops in the game that originally didn't have supply drops in it. You know, I'm sure a lot of people were bummed out, but I'm sure a lot of other people just got used to it. Which, you know, I never played the original COD 4. To be honest, I never played or owned Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, or Modern Warfare 3. I mean, like, I've played Modern Warfare 2 and 3 um, a little bit over at a friend's house on PS3, but that was pretty much it. I never owned the game. But, to be honest, I like the way this game felt. I like the way it did things, such as supply drops, and... I, as you guys can probably see at the bottom of the screen, it has that little bar that shows you ranking up. And to be honest, I wish they would kind of bring that back because whenever I first played Modern Warfare Remastered... Alright, uh... Okay. Yeah, whenever I played Modern Warfare Remastered for the first time and I saw that, it looked pretty cool. And to be honest, I wish games would bring that back. Or at least, you know, newer Call of Duty games. You know, to where we can actually see how close we are to ranking up. And I know Infinite Warfare, uh, during the middle of its life cycle, actually added in a little thing whenever you would pause the game during a match. And... Oh, okay, that was close. But you could pause the game in the match and you could... It would have, like, this little circle meter where you could see you know, how far you are from ranking up and things like that. Okay, guys, so in this next match, I'm going to go as try hard as I can. And to be honest, I don't know what gun I want to use. Yeah, I haven't earned a single DLC weapon. But to be honest, I think a gun 
that I might be able to use. I want to use an assault rifle, but the G3, that's single fire. So I think I'm going to use... I'm going to use the Mini Uzi. Yeah, I'm going to try going as try hard as possible, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I probably picked the Mini Uzi for the wrong for the wrong map. But you never know, I might be able to, you know, pull something. Who knows? And we're missing one person. We should be good. Maybe. But yeah, so far as I can see, this game stands oh. Come on. Stands up pretty well. Alright, I'll use him as bait. Dang it, dude. Come on. How are you, ABs online? Oh. He's coming in. Okay, there we go, there we go. And I don't want to keep camping here, but that's pretty much the only thing you can do in this game is camp in a corner. Or else you will die. Guaranteed. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. <gasps> okay, a double, a double. Okay, baby, okay, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Okay, that not gonna work. Why? Why is this happening? Why? 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 I'm not this good. I haven't played in months. Years. Mm, okay, I thought I was gonna knife him. Alright, let's get that helicopter up. That was insane. Uh Seven kill streak. That was a seven kill streak. Okay, that was an assist. Get that in there, spawn. Maybe over there. Okay, let's get that up. Alright, to there, or the other way. Alright, let's reload this, because we're most likely going to run out of it. Airstrike. Can we use that? We can. Where are they coming from? I'll, I'll put it there. Probably a bad idea. Okay, one. Okay. So we're actually not doing too bad. That mini Uzi. Oh my gosh, that seven man. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't a seven man. It was a seven kill streak. Probably calling in a streak. Alright, they're gonna see me. I know they are. Yep, there was two of them. Yeah, this map, Bog, it is, it is chaos. And to be honest, I never really liked playing on this map, but for some reason I'm having a really good time. And to be honest, that's what I wish classic Call of Duty could go back to. Or, that's what I wish newer Call of Duty games would go back to. It's just, you know, just fun. You know, fun to... Wow. Yeah, but like, fun to play. And, you know, it wasn't really, you know, anything like... Exosuits or anything like that. Okay, I think the mini Uzi look wore off. Oh, okay, puncture. 
Okay, okay, get it, get it, get it. Okay. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Low pump. Gucci gang. Come on. Go, give me it. Give me it. Oh. Why? I'm not this good at this game. Why am I... Call it in. Break it. Here we go. Come on. We got two more points left. Call it in. I got it. I got the final kill. I think. I did. That was nice. Okay, guys. So... We did 21-6 in that match. I think I went pretty try-hard. But, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are still thinking about playing Modern Warfare Remastered one year later, um, it's, it's pretty populated. But then again, I am playing this on a Tuesday, so there probably isn't, there probably aren't many people on earlier in the day, uh, especially on the weekdays, but there's probably a lot of people playing, um, you know, during probably the weekends. And summer's coming up in a few months, so we'll see how we'll see how this game gets populated. I probably will start playing this more often, but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, so with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. See ya. You casting on my promises, you know I'm too gentle.